Howdy all, me again. Welcome to part 28 of my Digimon Adventure PSP playthrough. And in the last part we finally got Patamon back. I mean it took us like 10 parts or so, but we got there in the end. Unfortunately Patamon's the only one we got back. We haven't got Anjumon back. I've said that loads of times already. But yeah, I think it goes without saying. It's complete not to bullshit. So... This episode is just drawing to a close, and I completely ended up cutting it off before I even really thought about it. Um, just make, didn't really make sure the episode had come to an end first. But yeah, Taichi and Takeru were like, oh, let's, uh, let's go across the sea and see if we can find Yamato, because he's got to be on the other side somewhere. So let's go into the next episode. And I think this is the episode where Yamato yells a lot. <laughs> um, this basically explains why Yamato never returned to Takeru. Why he took so bloody long. Yeah, so... Uh... <sighs> why did Yamato take so bloody long? Well, you're about to find out. Upon arriving on the other side... There's not really much around here, but if you look up at the top of the hill, you can see a building. And let's just say that Yamato ends up getting stuck there for quite a while. Now there are a bunch of Digimon down here, but really, they're weaklings. I'm not even remotely worried about fighting them. Go away. You're weaklings. You will do nothing for me! Oh god. I don't really want to have to fight the Batamon. So I want to try and get round it. There we go. So we basically just want to head up the hill. This is a very cutscene heavy episode. Um, dialogue heavy episode I should say. Oh, it goes on for ages. <laughs> there really isn't all that much in terms of gameplay. I could grind down there if I want to, but with Betamon and Numamon, they really don't do much for me. So, because I have Patamon back, I think it's worthwhile that I should actually um, put some... Um, Dizzy chips on him. Oh, I do apologise. Bloody hot weather makes me tired. <laughs> so, I'm going to put that on there, even though mainly the main thing I want to be working on with Patamon is defence. Because Patamon is, is a fucking weakling. So, obviously, I'm going to have to sort out the digi chips again. Because, as I say, Patamon, weakling! <laughs> Mind you, that, that, that ability could be useful. Um, that re. That, heals hit points by up to 2,000 so that's definitely the best I'm going to get out of this okay oh, let's clear all these off because I don't think we're going to be fighting with uh, with with uh, going on one any day soon But then again, he is going to be in this episode, so it might be an idea just to keep Digichips onto him. I can't even remember if you actually get to fight with him or not. I don't think you do, but I'd rather play it safe. Uh, I'll slap that on him. I don't know what it's for, but you can have it. I know that we're not going to be seeing you for a while. Uh, do you have... Ugh. Oh. Well, I'm going to slap this on Paramon. Um, defense boost. Um, and he's also going to need... I think this ability would also be helpful because that, that's another defense boost. And I think that might actually be better than just slapping the defense. Why? Because let's face it, Paramon's really not going to be doing very much in battle, so we may as well just use... Patamon to keep his defences boosted so that he don't get knocked out so quickly. 
Because let's face it, with the Digimon we are going to face, it's very likely that he's probably going to get knocked out. I don't know what that is. Uh, attack, no. That's not going to fit anywhere. Sod it. <laughs> so, ooh, save point. After the lengthy episode I went through last time, a save point is very welcome. Right. Let's go. So, this building up here... Um, well, we can try and run past it, but Plots tells us that we cannot. We have to go back this way. Actually, I don't know if there's anything up there. No, there isn't. It won't let you go up there. It's fine. Just makes me wonder what the point of that Kawagamon being there is if you're not even allowed to go up there. So we want to come here to the restaurant. Oh my god, I spoiled it. It's a restaurant. Who the hell cares? Um... Yeah, this is a restaurant that's run by a guy named, well, a Digimon named Digitamamon. And he looks a bit like an, well, he is an egg with dinosaur-ish legs sticking out the bottom. Well, at least that's the impression that I get. And that there is, little guy there is Vegemon. Waiter, I guess. And we find out that Gomamon's here. So does that mean Joe is here as well? Yeah, it does, of course. You see one, you, you're going to see the other. So, Gummon's obviously knackered and in a bit of a bad place, so he's happy to see these two guys. So it's time to fill, for Joe to fill us in as to why the hell He's here, and not out looking for Taiji or doing whatever the hell it was he was supposed to be doing. So basically what happens is, I don't know if Joe's talking about it right now, but Joe owns the restaurant. He went in there with going on for a meal and couldn't pay for it. Because I think, believe the currency in the digital world is different. Anyway, he couldn't afford the meal, so they said he would have to work off his debt. And uh, that's basically the gist of it. And... They treat him like shit. <laughs> I believe Yamato tries to convince him to let Joe go with him, but they they don't want to let him leave. So Yamato offers to stay to help work off the debt with Joe, just to get things done quicker. Unfortunately, things don't turn out the way that, you know, they initially planned. But I'll, I'll, I'll let the story kind of speak for itself. But Vegemon strikes me as a real dickhead. Just dancing around like a fucking loony. Anyway, this is the restaurant's owner, Digitamamon. And, uh... I can't remember what accent he had in the uh, English dub version. But it, there was definitely an accent. <sighs> but yeah, even, even this guy's reluctant to let Joe go. You know, kids trying to save the world here and... No. Fuck that. Fuck evil forces. Fuck the digital world potentially being in danger. I'm, I only care about my profit. <laughs> so yeah, Yamato's like, oh, I'll stay and help you out for a bit. You get a rank up between the two. And I know I said earlier that I class this as like, the episode is, you know, being one where Yamato yells a lot, but in all honesty, he's not doing a lot of yelling at the moment. 
That's not until like towards the end. It's not like the yes last episode where Takaru literally did cry a lot all the way through. <laughs> so Demi Devimon, oh fuck now, Pico Devimon. I keep slipping back into the English dub name. I know I use Datamon's dub name because that's the one I'm more comfortable with. And oh, I don't know, I don't care. Pico Devimon, I believe, is trying to convince Digitalmon to make sure that Matt doesn't leave either. Let's see, how I keep doing. I've done it again. Slipped into the English dub name. I think what Yamato was going to do was going to head back and get to Keru before he helped Joe pay, you know, work off his debt. But Digitamamon doesn't want him to leave because he thinks he won't come back. So Yamato can't go back and get to Keru. Hence why Takeru now thinks that Yamato has abandoned him and ends up taking it out on poor little Tokemon. <laughs> I'm assuming that this all happens at kind of like the same sort of time. And that probably Pico Devimon speaking to Digitamon literally happened just before Takeru. You know, he went back to Takeru and said, Oh, he's abandoned you. He thinks you're a crybaby. So obviously, Joe's feeling very apologetic. It begins! <laughs> Poor Joe seems to be the target of a lot of Yamato's yelling. <laughs> so the plan is hopefully to just work off this deck quickly so they can leave. But obviously if Pico Devimon's in the picture it's not going to be that easy so... Well, how are they going to make sure that these kids don't leave? Hmm. Well. <laughs> they could blow up the building. <laughs> um. Joe has lots of accidents, basically, and that adds to his debt, so he stays longer. And because Yamato is helping out with Joe's debt, uh, he can't leave either. <laughs> Obviously, the whole point of this is, I, I think I mentioned in the last part that Pico Devimon is like out to try and stop the crest from glowing, or whatever else. At least that's what I got from the dub. So he tried to just take away Takeru's hope away from him by just saying that he's been essentially abandoned. Here he's trying to turn Matt against Joe, Yamato against Joe, by make, causing a lot of mischief, making it out that Joe was the one that's making all these cock-ups. Oh look, the Sora! And she's gone again. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's the whole thing here, because Yamato's crest is the crest of friendship. Um, I think the whole point is just to make Yamato be a jerk and not see Joe as a friend, because then that's really not, you know, being a good friend, is it? And Sora's still remaining hidden. Okay, that was really pointless, thank you. Sora! Piyomon! So now Pico Devimon's introducing himself to Yamato. Now you would think Yamato would be sensible. Takeru! Okay, yeah, it was probably a bit silly of Takeru to believe this guy, but you could probably understand it with the abandonment issues and the fact that he is young and naive. But Yamato, you would think he would be very savvy enough to realise this guy can't be trusted. But no. Yamato's just as fucking stupid. Pico Devimon's telling him that Joe is doing all these accidents on purpose so that he doesn't get, have to leave. And Yamato believes him! Why the fuck do people believe this arsehole? Look at him! 
He's been with Joe since the very fucking beginning of this journey. How the hell could he believe this... This puffball stranger with a skull on his forehead? I was someone that he's been with since, you know, the beginning. All these kids are stupid, do you hear me? <laughs> okay. So Yamato gets confrontational. So I think he's like trying to plead his case, probably go and see Takara again. Uh, and that was Demi Devimon. Pico Devimon, sorry. But of course Joe gets the blame for it, despite the fact that he, he was nowhere near them. And Yamato was facing Joe. He would have been able to see that Joe didn't knock those plates over. But no. Yamato decides to be stupid. You were facing him. You would have seen that Joe wasn't the one that pushed those plates. It was Pico Everyone, oh, you idiot! <sighs> Scratch that. This episode is called Yamato the Idiot! <laughs> God almighty! Anyway, this is probably something that Yamato didn't expect. Takeru is here and reunites with him. So I'm surprised that they actually managed to let Yuma Yamato go and have a break. Well, at least they're that fair, they actually give him breaks. <laughs> so we want to head up and... Shut up, Jack. And along here... Save the game again, why the hell not? I mean, nothing really happened, but I just can't be fucked to sit through all those, um, all that dialogue again. So, um, move along. And right by the front of the restaurant, we see Tai Chi and Takeru. You know, Tai Chi, who's been missing for God knows how fucking long, and now has come back. Oh, you, you've got more space, okay. Well, I'm going to give you an attack booster because you definitely are the most um, offensive one that I have. And maybe some... S what do I give you? Oh, I'll give you... Um, crikey, um, I'll give you that. I don't know what it does, but you can have that. <laughs> so now I'm going to go and have a chat. Well, Yamato will proceed to do more yelling and realise that Demi, well, <laughs> Pico Devimon is a friggin' liar. I also failed to understand why Yamato and Joe didn't think to fight their way out. Even if it seemed that they were being reasonable. You know, it was still an option. <laughs> so yeah, reunion and all that. So Tochi, I don't think, understands why they can't just leave. And this is where Yamato starts getting hormonal. Saying a lot of mean shit about Joe, I imagine. And Taichi's like, no, that can't be true. And now there's going to be an argument. 
Only this time, Yamato is the one being a complete and utter fucking douchebag. Well, actually, it's not the first time. <laughs> they take turns in being douchebags. And he yells at Takaru. Oh, lovely of you. <laughs> well, if ever you needed any proof that Pico Devimon was causing a lot of shit, well, there you go. Takaru and Taichi know that he's a liar now anyway, so that ought to clarify, clarify things a bit more. But, you know, if he was really trying to ensure that Yamato's crest never gl glowed, Pico Devimon wouldn't just reveal himself and say, You fooled! <laughs> You're being very unreasonable, egghead. And... <laughs> Takeru cries like a bitch while Vegemon dances like a loony behind him. Well, okay, I have to be fair. What they're actually trying to go for here is that Takeru's being taken prisoner by Vegemon. Presumably it's like some kind of bait or means to get them to do what they want them to do. Hostage. There you go. Anyway, Joe comes to the rescue and runs straight into Vegemon. And somehow Takeru gets away while Vegemon now dances over Joe's, like, practically unconscious form. <laughs> well, if Joe was dead, you would actually see a literal representation of yeah, no, a grave being danced on. <laughs> and Yamato is now sorry and they get another rank up, which is good. And Joe also ranks up with Takeru. When the hell did you digivolve? Okay. <laughs> Yamato's crest glows. And oh my god, we're getting another perfect evolution, finally. I was getting I was starting to wonder how long it would just be metal metal Greymon for. I don't know if this one's my you know, I don't think this one's one of my favourites, but I am happy to take any perfect evolution that I can get. I mean, it just looks to me like a Garurumon on his hind legs, wearing clothes, with a few extra cuts and bruises. <laughs> but it's kind of cool, I suppose. So, now we're going to get into a fight with Digitalmon. Yeah, you ought to be scared. We're gonna make scrambled egg out of you. Okay. Play that music. If I remember rightly, I don't think Wegarumon is the strongest of, like, the, uh, um of the perfect Digimon. But hey, it should still do a lot of damage. I'm obviously going to have Metal Greymon in this fight because it would be foolish of me not to. Unfortunately, you have no choice about Patamon being there, so if you didn't want Patamon there, it was tough shit. Patamon's always going to be there. He's not going to do much. Don't be surprised if he ends up getting knocked out by Digitalmon and, you know, doesn't survive the fight. I think I got quite lucky this time round because he ended up surviving. <laughs> How fortunate was that? Um, 
There's really no point in me attacking with him, but... <laughs> wow! Patamon's so small that the egg is missing him completely. So I'm mostly just like I say, going to be focused on attacking with Wegarumon and Metal Greymon and just leaving Patamon to just fend, you know, boost defense and stuff. Okay, I don't really need to refill HP, so I'm probably just going to boost defense again. All the defense that I can get is useful. Really would rather he didn't get knocked out. Experience and all that jazz. Take this. <laughs> you really are crap at aiming. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> right. I know you look like you're drunk, but we can finish him. Ah, <laughs> missed. I'm gonna heal you up. 2000 HP is quite a lot. Take this, bitch. That takes care of... Did you tell them on? That egg is scrambled. Okay. Ooh, level 18. Well, I, I, I'm guessing that that, um... <laughs> that thing that I slapped on Padamon is actually doing its, its job. It actually is helping him gain the XP much quicker. <laughs> yeah, run. Run as fast as you can, bitches. So, with Dish Tamam undefeated, looks like the kids are free to go on their own way again. Yeah, you owe a massive apology, mate. <laughs> if you haven't done it already. Okay, you have now. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we now head up this way where we couldn't go before and we'll probably never be able to go. Um, and we decide to briefly split up into two little groups to see if we can find the other teammates um, and hopefully reunite a little bit further down the road. So the plan is that Yamato and Takeru would go one way and Taichi and Joe will go the other. Sounds pretty straightforward. And we will be reuniting with these guys very, very, very soon. Like, two part, one, two parts time. It won't take long. Rest assured. This very chatty heavy part um, is done for now. <laughs> <laughs>